Hello and uh, welcome to this lecture series on uh, multivariable physics. Um, so this is episode one. So what we'll be covering in this episode is really just the prere prerequisites as well as other, um, you know, what, what we're going to be covering in total. So. Uh, to start off, we'll think about you know, multivariable physics. Well, what, what, what is this? Um, this is going to basically, we're going to be covering classical mechanics. Okay. Classical, oops, mech. And then, and we're also going to be covering differential equations. Right, and we're going to be covering obviously vector calculus, or uh, oftentimes called you know multivariable calculus. And sorry, I'm using my mouse, but um, so what what's this all going to mean? So, in terms of prereqs for this, you're going to want to know linear algebra. Uh, and when I say linear algebra, I, I'm not, I don't mean like a basic level in terms of, oh, you just know what a vector is, or you, you want to know, you know, you, you want to know a bit more than just solving linear uh, equations. You want to know, obviously, what a dot product is, you know, between two vectors. You want to know what the cross product is, you know, you should know about linear transformations between vector spaces. This is important. Um, you want to know about, you know, you should you should know how to take determinants of matrices, right? You should know how to invert a matrix. Uh, you should know how to invert one. You should be able to find, given some matrix A, X, you should be able to find, you know, lambda such that, you know, a x equals lambda x. Should be, so you should be able to find eigenvalues and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Does that make sense? And uh, after that, okay, and the next thing you want to know is you want to know calc 1, obviously. I shouldn't explain to you what a derivative is. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of if, if you, why are you why are you doing multivariable calc if you don't know single variable calc? I, I, it's not my job to teach you, unfortunately. Um, obviously, you should know what an integral is. You should know the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus. So, you know that says this f of t you know, dt equals f. That says. Um, although more generally, this is if this is some a, you know, you have some a, b, uh, f, or yeah, f of t dt, then this is equal to f of b minus f of a. You should know what this. You should know this. Okay. This becomes kind of, we'll revisit this when we do hot integrals in higher dimensions. Um, and then obviously you should know calc 2, so this is going to cover integration techniques, use of, um, you know, inverse trig. And um, partial fractions. Right. You should know that. You should know these. These should all be familiar to you. We'll review them if it comes up, to, if we have to, but you should know that these exist and how to work with them. Also, some series stuff. You should know what a Taylor series is or a Maclaurin, right? You have some function. You can turn that into the sum infinity of f and C X my oops I am running out of space I am sorry you have some function 
we can turn this into an infinite sum of f, the nth derivative of f at c times x minus c to the power of n over n factorial. And then this is the Taylor series, right? At around centered at C. Okay. And then Taylor is when C or McLaurin series is when C is equal to zero. That's what that that's what that is. Okay. Um and so that should make this should all make sense, okay? These this is the type of stuff that you should already understand. I shouldn't have to explain that stuff to you because the whole point in looking at physics, especially classical mechanics, uh, through the lens of you know, multivariable calculus and differential equations, well, it's building off of these very basic, um, basic building blocks. So, if you don't know any, if you don't know anything, maybe you're missing something. Maybe you forgot how exactly how to work with linear maps, or maybe you don't exactly know what an isomorphism is. Maybe go back review. You know, if you can't remember this theorem or if you, you're still a bit fuzzy on Taylor series, go back, see if you can find some videos on that, and then come back when you're ready. Um, and yeah, so that's episode one. And next episode, we'll dive right in to kind of the meat and potatoes of this. So we'll talk about next episode. We're going to be talking about functions. So this is... Uh, Functions and how to do an outputs and, and and vectors. Okay, so that's gonna be episode two. So see you then.